Hello, hi, my name is Samuel Izerza for the SC channel. Thank you for tuning in, subscribe, and share as much as you can. And the reason why, well, you guys know the reason. Anyways, um, I'm not going to talk about Dictator Biden yesterday. I don't think any, any of my friends watched it or that many people watched it. I don't know who watched it. I'd love to get the numbers on it. But please take your vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc tablet, okay? Please. And at the same time, share, 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 share. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I said I was going to cover more of what's going on with Antifa, and, uh, Black Lives Matter, and, and a few other things that I wanted to cover, you know, like the defund the police that you don't hear anymore. <laughs> it's more like overfund the police. Um, yesterday, 30,000. You, you have to understand... I don't know, maybe it's my friend, but some of them that I know that are progressives, they're just paranoid people, just paranoid. Uh, even, yes, um, I remember it was Monday or Tuesday, talking to, to one of my, like, to one of my friends, very paranoid, like, literally paranoid. Do you think that Trump is going to pull something? For sure he's going to pull something. He's going to have a, <laughs> so what? It, relax, man. Just relax. Yeah, he's gonna. I think you're watching too much CNBC, or and then you know, like, no, 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 he's gonna pull something. In there. Paranoid. They're paranoid. Look, they don't even trust their own army. Very dangerous, that by the way. That's how dictators, crazy dictators, uh, everything is paranoid. Take out your guns, and free speech. They're gonna, like, these are paranoid people. When people are paranoid, guess what happens? They're dictators. But anyways, Antifa yesterday during the inauguration. Smashes windows, obviously, they want the, you know, <laughs> I told you these, these people are freeing work jobs, but uh, it's a Democratic Party in Oregon headquarters that they, they smashed. Um, Antifa terrorist, this is the Gateway Pundit, um, terrorists in Portland smashed out windows of the headquarters of the Democratic uh, Party, um, I'm sure they said a few bad words. Uh, this is, let me see, we don't want Biden, we want revenge. I told you, these are just, uh, I don't know, friggin' whack job, uh, but they were used. They're the right, the, uh, not the right, the right hand is the, uh, the media. These are the left hand. The left hand, Black Lives Matter and Antifa is the left hand and the paramilitary uh, group of the, uh, Democratic Party. Why did they go after, let's see, town hall reporter... Uh, Julio uh, Rosas is reporting live from Portland Group. Antifa marchers just attacked uh, the city's Democratic. Anyways, they want something. And and I said it from the beginning. Once you have a dictator, or once you have, uh, once they've used you, okay, uh, doesn't matter if you're Black Lives Matter or Antifa or some crazy, they're going to come after you now. Look at yesterday. There were a lot of cops yesterday. They came. Um, they didn't let it go crazy like it, like it did before. Some of them had, had a hard time breaking the windows. Now, let me see. Uh, on the ground, Portland, Oregon, a group of Antifa marchers just attacked the city of McCarthy Party. Okay. Um, they want payback. Just like Black Lives Matter, they want payback. They want payback. Uh, they want something in return. Well, just like every hard dictator, okay, I'm telling Antifa this. Just like any hard dictator, they're gonna come after you. They're gonna they're gonna cut you guys down and like forget it. They're gonna put you all in jail. You're gonna see criminal conduct may uh, subject you to the use of force, as the police are saying, but not limited to crowd control agents, impact weapons, stop damaging the Democratic Party Oregon headquarters. This is the uh, police. Um, nothing was done in Oregon. You know the the hub. Of Antifa and the hub of uh, you know left wings um, and yes there was only a small crowd yesterday but this is out of control obviously so they got to do something about these Antifas but these Antifa think they're invincible you guys are not because they're gonna come after you that's what happened with dictators they go after the ones who help them always remember that you know look what happened Saddam Hussein Everyone that helped him put him into power, that's it, got shot in the back. Anyways, my name is Samuel Izerza for the SE channel. Thank you for tuning in, subscribe, and share as much as you can. 
Uh, we wish uh, Donald Trump uh, lots of success. Um, also to relax. And hopefully, hopefully he'll start. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he would start his own cable company or a cable company or some uh, completely new. And also we need a new party. The Republican Party is finished. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> no one's going to trust him anymore. They're the same party as the Democratic Party. They're both the same. It's only one party. There's, there's got to be need to three or four or five parties in the United States for anything to be done. Just like the, you know, if you go around the world, I mean, you know, there's just three different parties, four different parties, five different parties. Okay, you got to have another party than the Republican. The GOP's got to move on the side and 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 get something else, um, another party, you know, more, more patriot. Uh, um, Listen, it's 80 million people, <laughs> 80 million people who don't want to, you know. Anyways, I don't want to say much more than that. Um, that's it. I just wanted to say that uh, Antifa smashed out windows.